inspired by a video by Adam Savage and Matt Parker, I decided to make my own smaller version of an infinite rhombic dodecahedron. This particular polyhedron can tile three space, so it makes for a good choice for this type of lamp. The idea was to make a fairly small one, so the obvious choice seemed to be to, to 3D print the whole frame as one piece, but I quickly ran into problems. Most 3D printers are not well suited for printing long, thin structures. In fact, objects like this are used as stress tests and calibration tools. As in, if your printer can print this, you have it dialed in just right. However, even perfectly tuned, the results are fragile at best. But then it occurred to me, you don't need a 3D printer to make long, thin beams. You can buy those. Really, the only complicated parts of this structure are its corners. So I printed the corners and joined them with wooden dowels I bought from a craft store for just a couple of euros. This particular object has two different corner types, eight corners of valence three and six of valence four. I tried to cut the acrylic mirrors by hand but in the end, I got them laser cut by a guy here in Madrid, which was a much better idea. The mirror came with a blue protective film, which I left on during assembly, which was kind of a mess because I was using a glue gun. I also made the battery box for the LED and used a ribbon to take the weight off the LED wires. So what did I learn? Maybe it's best to take a step back and ask yourself what part of my design needs to be printed and what part can be replaced by easily obtained, already made materials. I explored this idea a little more with, with the hyperboloid and hyperbolic paraboloid I printed. Only the tricky parts were made. Most of the structure consisted of pencils. In theory, the idea of just printing the corners could be extended to making a large version of this low polygon count rabbit. You could print the corner pieces and join them together with dowels. In our polyhedral case, all the edges and faces were the same. However, in the rabbit case, each side length and face would be different and you would have to keep track of which one goes where. I suppose the corners could be labeled somehow, but assembly would be quite painstaking at best. Another extension of this idea is to decompose your surface into developable pieces, developable pieces, and only print the edges. That's a much more complicated topic, though, and that'd be for another day.